we cannot but choose to hear. At length did cross an albatross, thorough the fog it came. Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Formed when sand, silt, and grains of clay scraped and torn away by tenacious taloned fingers of wind, rain, and glacial ice, from sundry land to rain, proud mountains and defiant flatlands whose scarring declaims like totemic tattoos the lingering images and damage join the downslope creep of soil to be carried by river streams and gravity deposited in layers of sediment on the ocean floor in riverbeds and swamps mixing long dead organic miasma the fossil remains of plants and plankton mixed with mud and sand squeezed into source rock and heated to the night temperatures of the earthen crust bearing the downward press of a hundred thousand years the transforming weight that releases kerrigans the black waxy crude or natural gas into porous or fractured rock into subsurface pools one of Gaia's many seepages and secretions brought forth from wounds piercing her dermis in spurts of black thick and tar-like fossil fuel or small light effervescent carbon chains timed to the beat of her heavy heart like a blood donor she has given much and often has transfused mankind's movement and industry, but now bleeds uncontrollably from too many punctures, bathing wetlands and barrier islands in a tide of oozing crude, smothering an entire generation of shrimp and crab, smothering dolphins, whales, and turtles, poisoning fish, turning diving birds, gannets, pelicans, frigates, and sanderlings, into flightless oil-soaked drowning birds. Can we not read the portents, the omens? Have we lost the gift of auspice? The higher the bird flight, the more favorable the omen. But flightless birds portend certain doom. Can we not see as one with a glittering eye? See for endless days and nights the curse in the eyes of the eleven deep water horizon dead? Must we wander in our guilt this earth to tell any and all who might listen that God glories life over greed, loves all things she has made, or will we remain the unwitting prizes of yellow-haired, red-lipped life in death?